Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Spider Cafe, a place for creepy crawly talk and microphotography. And today we're gonna be rehousing and talking a little bit about care of our RSU species Valkinari. Uh, it's a velvet spider and we had this female since she was a tiny spiderling. I believe it was like one eighth of an inch again. And we raised her to you know be pretty big at this point she's um, around an inch and they get around four centimeters which is around inch and three quarters maybe you know close to two inches but um. and these guys come from mediterranean so they like it completely dry and we're gonna be moving her from this cute little enclosure uh, which is let me make sure it's primal cages it served us really well i like this one it's a really nice and cute enclosure for photography it was uh, a little tricky because it has like this plastic part right here and when she was hiding you know she would uh, when she was in she would be always kind of like hiding behind this so it was kind of hard to get shots so we're moving her into something bigger and actually the way we're gonna end up doing it, we're gonna just try to move her whole home basically into a new enclosure. So, you know, she shouldn't be too stressed out from that. So uh, these spiders are very unique in the way they hunt, in the way they look. And she's gonna go into this one. This is Tarantula Crips Cube. The, these are really awesome and uh, they don't have this strip right here. They only have it like little corners. So should be better for photography and this may end up being her forever home. All right, cool. So let's get uh, to the building. So we got something built and um, as you can see it's all dry. We went to like this local place in the nature where there's no pesticides or anything and I grabbed a few twigs and you know some other stuff, some rocks and stuff like that and I boiled them. There is few uh, other ways that you can uh, disinfect them basically where some people microwave them, some people I think uh, put them in the oven for a little bit. I find boiling uh, kind of the easiest for us. Uh, at this point we're gonna try to take her out but we're gonna try to take her out her whole burrow and just place it in here and as you see she has a bunch of places that she's gonna webbing up and so I hope that this is gonna be a front part but we basically just gonna take pictures of her from the top so I'm hoping I can put the whole thing in there and she's just gonna have a lot more space to web up but she doesn't really explore that much so all right let's uh, let's try to get her out now fly because this might be the last time I'm interacting with her for a while. Are you in there mama? Can we have you in? You can see her a little bit in there. Yeah, she's in there. Yep. I don't know how much you see over her but yep she's looks like she's in there. Not looks like she is in there. 
And so tonight we're probably gonna see her uh, exploring a little bit and she's gonna start webbing up and rebuilding her in her nest basically. And she's just gonna stay in the nest, you know, she's gonna be, her legs are gonna be sticking out and that's basically all you get to see most of the time from your uh, velvet spider from her Asus. So just if any of you is thinking about getting one, just be aware, you know, it's not a, it's not a spider that's gonna be on a, completely on a display. Alright guys, so this was rehousing of Aresus Velvet Spider. They are pretty hardy, pretty easy to care for. In the United States right now they're really expensive, uh, but they, they have a lot of pluses. Like I said, they're really easy to take care of. They don't require almost any moisture. I spray, I mist this, and I'm, whatever I'm talking misting, I just do like one, one mist maybe once every six weeks, and that's about it. They live in Mediterranean, it's really, really dry there. They get all their moisture from their food. And basically all you need is some uh, some moss and all you need is a few twigs and they wrap it up and they also like rocks because they lay their eggs on the rocks and uh, so I added some rocks even though it's not gonna it's not like a big rock that can uh, they can use as uh, you know to web up the males are gorgeous too but the males only live like few months so you only can enjoy it for very little so that's a bit of a bummer but we're gonna have hair probably for about two to four years so this is really good and a little bit about their food they are really amazing hunters and they can basically hunt prey of their own size you probably don't want to do it but you know if you sometimes sometimes we don't have anything or when she was really little bit would just give her like a house fly and it was basically her size and she was able to tackle it no problem uh, like I said they have a unique hunting method where they grab their prey by its limbs usually and uh I started noticing this and then one of my Instagram buddies, Isaiah, I, oh I'm messing up his name probably, Isaiah, I want to say, and I'm going to put his name down here so you guys know, uh, we both noticed the same thing, that they actually go and they, and I think there's even a scientific name uh, for it, they just basically go and attack the limbs and they uh, drag the prey by its limb, so really unique really fun spider to watch and I highly recommend it hopefully their price is gonna go down sometime soon in the United States alright guys I hope you really enjoyed this video subscribe hit the like button notifications button it means a lot to us uh, we start getting started uh, we're watching all of our views and everything I answer all the comments so feel free to ask questions feel free to you know uh, give some input on you know if you guys have a RSUs or anything that you would like to uh, know about them that I didn't cover in this video I hope we're gonna see you soon alright ciao